वेलकम टू माय साइट को डायरीज योर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सेलेंस योर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इन साइट कोर एंड डॉट नेट टूडे इज वीडियो इज फ्रॉम द सीरीज साइट कोर हेडलेस जेएसएस एंड द टॉपिक इज जेएसएस आर्किटेक्चर एंड वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू सी रेंडरिंग इंजिनस इन इट आई एम योर होस्ट जितेंद्र घानेकर आई एम एन साइट कोर टेक्नोलॉजी एम वी i have i have given my all my social media account handles on the screen you can follow me uh, on linkedin and the uh, instagram facebook and x if you have any question you can you can dm me or you can uh, message me on linkedin or uh, you can you can email me also on my email address so what we are going to see in today's uh, video we we are going to see site code jss architecture then we will see what are server side renderings what are client side rendering what is static side generation and hybrid rendering at the end we will summarize or we will try to differentiate between uh, ssr csr and shg before moving ahead uh, let me request you if you are not subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing to the channel and click on a notification bell to get a latest update from our channel if these videos are helping you do click on a like button do provide your feedback on the comment and do share this with your friends and colleague so let us start today's topic site code jss architecture so today's video we are going to dive into the architecture of site code jss also known as javascript services we will be exploring how different components interact within this powerful framework let's look at this uh, diagram to understand the overall flow and component involved in jss start with the uh, development and ci environment this is where a developers create and manage their code utilizing continuous integration to ensure everything works seamlessly together next we have a uh, jss cli and import service the jss cli or a command line interface helps developers to scaffold and manage jss app the import service is responsible for importing the apps manifest into the site core the manifest which include all the metadata and configuration details and item uh, such as a content data are then set to site within site code several key services are come into play the headless service experience edge the backbone of the uh, content delivery though this this we have access to the, through this through this we have access to the rest api graphql the graphql and rest api allow developers to uh, retrieve a content and layout information in json format making it easier to work with the modern javascript framework then we have a layout dictionary service provides a multilingual dictionary service provides a multilingual support while layout and uh, site or item data are essential for defining the structure and the content of the page on the application side we can see the use of uh, jss next js react angular view this framework handle the uh, uh, different types of uh, rendering those are static renderings server renderings and client renderings static renderings are basically pre generates the html at the build time and the server renderings uh, build the html on the server for each request and client rendering uh, is a where browser handles the rendering using the javascript so basically if you see here from the site code they receive the json data and then depending uh, on the the kind of a rendering you are using on the app the uh, the uh, the rendering structure change like static uh, rendering if you are using the it builds the html uh, 
on the compile time itself or a build time itself okay uh, then server side rendering it builds the html at the server side and send it to the client browser whereas the client rendering it actually uses a json and it will passes the json to the client browser and then a client browser handles it uh, with the using uh, the javascript framework then the media is uh, directly given to the client browser so this is the overall uh, overall structure jss architecture structure okay so what we are going to see is we are going to see key uh, elements in today's uh, today's video we are going to see these three that is static rendering server rendering and client rendering so let's go in detail of these three uh, rendering mechanism let's see what are the different rendering engines available in sidecode jss development the first is a server side rendering we called it as a ssr so ssr refers to rendering the full html of a page on the server and sending it to the client so basically the complete html is built on the server and that is sent to the browser client this happens before the javascript takeover so from the browser client the javascript takes over okay so basically before giving it to the javascript it already has the full html of the page then you have a uh, site code jss support ssr using frameworks like nextjs so nextjs has the uh, ssr framework it is better for SEO as search engines can crawl the fully render HTML. Faster initial page load as user receives the complete HTML from the server. So server itself is providing the HTML so it is a bit faster. The best pages where the SEO and fast initial load times are crucial such as the marketing pages and blog where you can use the SSR. Now we will talk about the client side rendering CSR. CSR refers to the rendering content in the browser using JavaScript. So CSR is basically what does it? It gets the content in the maybe in the JSON format and then the JavaScript takes a control on the client. Okay. And there it gets rendered. So client is rendering the your uh, content. The initial HTML sent from the server is a minimum and the JavaScript framework takes over the render of the content. So in this case only the java 6 java uh, mini data with the minimum html is sent to the uh, client browser sidecode jss applications are typically built using framework like react angular or Vue. so react angular and Vue supports the client side rendering now if you want to utilize the nextjs or react or angular so this is also a, a, a differentiation if you want to utilize the server side rendering you have to use the nextjs CSR is the default mode for this framework where components are rendered in the browser. Reach and interactive user in interface. So you will have the reach and interactive user in interface experience uh, by using the client side rendering. The ability to use a modern JavaScript frameworks and libraries. So you can utilize the modern JavaScript framework and libraries in case you are using the CSR. Ideal for highly interactive application where the user experience benefits from the client side interactive such as a dashboard and single page application. So if you have a single page application then you, you may prefer the CSR it will give you a better performance, better functionality, better user experience. Now moving to the next one. Uh, this is something different like uh, static site generation so SSG. The SSG generates the HTML at the build time rather than at the rather than at runtime. So when you build the application, that time only HTML is getting uh, uh, generated. So generated static files are served to the user. So it's, it, this is, these are like when you compile it, the static files are get generated and the the container will be like a static uh, uh, files coming from the static file. So you can utilize your CDN also. Sidecode JSS support SSG using frameworks like Next.js. So Next.js support SSG. Sidecode JSS can integrate with this framework to pre-render a content based on the Sidecode data. It's a very fast load time as you can use uh, the pages can be served from the CDN also. So it will be very fast. Very fast load times as the content is pre-rendered and served from the CDN. Reduce the server load since content is generated once it is reused. 
suitable for the static content that doesn't change open such as the documentation and landing pages as you see uh, this uh, static uh, ssg static uh, site genera generation builds the html at the build time only so you will have only the static uh, pay files uh, deployed on your server so it means uh, if there is any changes it will take a time right so it, it may not suit for that but because you will have we will always have the static content coming from the uh, server okay so it is suitable or the uh, for the content such as a documentation and landing page then hybrid ready you might use this uh, okay so combining ssr csr and ssg to leverage the strength of the each method for example a page might be statically generated but have the dynamic parts that use csr so you can utilize the uh, the strength of everything there ssr csr and ssg Sitecode JSS supports hybrid rendering by allowing developers to choose the rendering method that best suits for each part of the application. Using framework like Next.js, developers can specify static generation for some pages and server-side rendering for others. Flexibility to optimize the different parts of a site for performance and SEO. So you want to balance between the performance and SEO, then you can prepare to go with the hybrid trend. Useful for a complex application that requires a mix of a static, dynamic and interactive content. So these are the four uh, rendering en engines. We will, we will summarize in the next slide for four, uh, all four engines. Okay, let's summarize uh, what we have seen for this uh, SSR, CSR, SSG and hybrid. So how it works, SSR, when a user requests a product page, the server fetches the product data from the database, renders the HTML on the server and sends the fully rendered HTML page to the user browser. And this ensures that the page is SEO friendly and the user sees the content immediately. So basically here, when you may say a database, it can be a CMS also. I mean, in our case, it is CMS, but in general, it, it can be any database. So when a user requests a product page, uh, the server fetches the product data from the server, from the CMS and renders the HTML on the server itself and sends the fully rendered HTML page to the client browser. Whereas CSR, when a user visits the site, an initial HTML page with minimal content and JavaScript file is sent to the browser. Okay, and the JavaScript code then takes over and dynamically renders the content on the client side. So based on the user interaction and API call. So basically here rendering is handled at the client side. So JavaScript is handling the rendering. SSG, the site is built at a compile time, generating the static HTML files for each page and these files are served to the users, making the site very fast and secure since the, there is no need to fetch your data from a server upon each request. It's like it is building the static pages in your application. So you are give, you are just uh, browsing the static pages because those pages, those HTMLs are getting generated when you compile the web, uh, compile the app. Hybrid, it's a combination. So static page like about us page are generated using the SSG. New articles are rendered using SSR to ensure they are up to date SEO friendly. A user specific content such as a comments or personalized recommendation is rendered on the client side using CSR. So it is a mixture of the SSR, CSR and SSG. Let's try to see a scenario. SSR, the best scenario is the e-commerce website where the product pages need to be SEO friendly and have up-to-date product information. Then CSR, CSR can be can take an example like a social media platform where the user interacts with the various dynamic components such as the feeds, comments and notifications. The user interaction is there and more faster it is. So it is uh, the social media platform can be one of the scenario where you can use the CSR. SSG, it's basically it's a static site, right? So a personal blog or a marketing website or a documentation website also where the content doesn't change frequently can be a uh, scenario for the SSC. Hybrid, a news website. So for the news website, there are mix of content. So there are content which are static. There are content which are dynamically updated like breaking news is coming. So that is uh, dynamic content. So article and user specific contents are also there. So there you can think of using the hybrid route. So if you see the real time example, the any e-commerce website like Amazon is a, can be a SSR, uh, a SSR uh, website example I am giving. Then the social media site like Facebook for the CSR. 
any documentation which white website it can be a ssc and any new website can be a hybrid so today we have seen this first of all the jss architecture in that jss architecture there is a part called rendering engine so where uh, you have seen ssr csr ssc and hybrid in next uh, video we are going to see the next part of that jss architecture so stay tuned uh, thank you we are done for today for if you are not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and click on the notification bell because uh, we, this series is continuous series and we are going to update the next video on this jss architecture once i upload it uh, if you have subscribed and you have clicked on notification bell then you will get the uh, notification uh, whenever i will upload the video if these videos are helping you please click on the like button so that i will understand that and do provide your comments also with, without that i will not be able to understand whether you there is any improvement is needed uh, is there anything which you want me to include that you can specify from the comments so please do comment it and do share this with your friends and colleagues who want to uh, learn these uh, headless chases thank you thanks for watching